Welcome to another daily reading, folks. I am once again using the Light Seer's Tarot, and I have, I have laid out your cards in a Celtic cross formation. Your first card is the Nine of Swords. That is your central theme. Somebody or you are in deep anxiety about something coming in. Now, I notice that this is pointed towards the past. I'll hold it up for you like this. It's pointing back towards the past, which tells me that this is a reversed energy, that you're getting some unexpected results that you don't want. You can kind of see them coming in from a distance and you're like, I don't want to touch this. I don't want to mess with this. I don't want to be anywhere near around, anywhere near this. Completely understandably, but you're carrying around a lot of anxiety about the results that you've got coming in. Now, in the past, I saw that you have the star, and this is healing after a difficult situation. It might be that even while you have somewhat stopped healing, or maybe you've continued to heal, maybe you're continuing to take that energy up into the present, you're still looking at the future and you're like, I don't want to see what the future has to hold for me. Now, the card that fell on the bottom and is in the subconscious position is the nine of cups. And that is just deep, deep unhappiness right now. Um, each of these cards have something to talk to you about. It is to look to the universe for help, for guidance, for healing, and for direction. Even when it takes you through some really difficult circumstances that you don't know how to handle, trust that the universe has your best interests at heart, and how can you work on letting go of the anxiety that you're carrying around about what directions the universe is taking you? That's going to be hard. With this being on the bottom, subconsciously, I see that you're deeply unhappy, that you're upset even, that you've lost quite a few things, possibly, or that you've had to sacrifice something in order to follow your guides, the ancestors, the universe's directions. And right here, this is even looking at difficult situations and saying, this hurts, this is shitty, this sucks, but I'm going to choose to be my best, highest self while I go through this situation. Anxiety is going to make this a whole lot worse for you. I've said this before, but if a therapist can help you, reach out. I know that therapists don't vibe with everybody, that not everybody does well in therapy. But if there's somebody that you can reach out to and talk to about this situation, I'm not saying that you're going to you're going to be good, but it's going to be a lot easier to handle this situation as it comes. Consciously, you are keeping your eyes closed to the situation because you don't want to see what's got what's on its way um these are external situations seen in those birds blindfolding her um wrapping her up in threads in the traditional rider Waite smith the figure has her shoulders shrugged up around her the idea there is that if you take deep breaths and allow your body to relax, those bindings fall away. So absolutely, I'm feeling like you have a lot of deep, deep anxiety around whatever the situation may be, and taking deep breaths and reaching out to people who can kind of help you get out of your own mind. A lot of this might be some kind of overthinking about what's coming through. And honestly, our minds can be our worst enemies a lot of the time, just because they can be so overactive even if you're not an air sign and you don't have a whole lot of overthinking in your birth chart necessarily, our society rewards overthinking a whole lot of different stuff. Um, did you do the right thing? Did you do enough? Eventually, you just have to come to the situation and say, it is what it is, and I choose to be my best self, grow into my higher, highest self in order to be um, in a better place. Now, this is interesting. You have a whole lot of major arcana card energy. In fact, most of the cards that I've laid out for today are major, major, major arcana cards. 
in your future position, you have the strength card in reverse. And that's talking to me about learning to be strong in spite of these situations. You might have gone through this once before. Seen there in the star card healing after a really difficult moment seen in the tower. And you can easily see how there will be more difficult circumstances that you're going to have to go through and you're just not in the mood. You're not in the mindset. You're not in the emotional place where you can even consider going through what you've already been through in the past. This card is here for a reason. The healing card is here for a reason. Also looking to the universe for guidance and saying, I'm here because of you. I go forward because of you. That's a difficult place to be. And what you're kind of not excited about, I see, is that the universe is asking you to do more of what's already been done. This is hard. You're going through a hard moment right now, but it doesn't always have to be this way. Again, reaching out to people who care is going to help a lot. In your advice position, you have temperance. It's in reverse. Something needs to be brought into balance when it comes to your fears about moving forward. With strength in reverse, that talks to me greatly about how much fear ruin, ru ruins and rules your life. Seen in the Nine of Swords, it's possible that your anxiety, if it continues to stay the way that it is now, there's the real risk that anxiety could become a real al albatross around your neck in the sense that wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you say, whatever you feel, you're going to, there's the risk that you could act out of fear because it's possible that you haven't completely healed from this situation. In the traditional Rider Waite Smith, you've got at least you've got a woman pouring in, in this card, you've got a woman pouring water onto the earth and in back into a small pool of water. And here with the angel in the traditional Rider Waite Smith, you've got an angel pouring water from one cup into another and also one foot out into another small pool of water. That talks to me about getting into intuition, getting into compassion for yourself, most especially, but also tapping into your emotions and letting them flow. This is in the subconscious position. I don't know that you're handling your emotions as well as you possibly could. It feels like you could be stifling things and just kind of moving forward kind of slowly, kind of in the traditional Rider Waite Smith, she's inching her way forward, just like letting her toes guide her along again, a small stream of water. We come back to water in this particular spread. There's something about water and its um, aura that are going to be deeply helpful to you. And I don't mean like literal, actual water. Of course, stay hydrated, take long baths, that kind of thing. But also, how can you tap into the compassionate angle? How can you tap into love for yourself? How can you tap into your own emotions and work with them constructively. I feel like there's a lot of major things happening for you right now. I might be speaking to an air sign. I might be speaking to another sign entirely. But in any case, overthinking could become a habit that really, really screws, screws you over. Your current environment is you are moving, you are thrashing against what the universe wants you to do. The universe wants to suspend you for a while above your anxieties, let you hang out above and away from your fears and just watch them. Watch and see where they come from. There's a certain level of detachment here that you're supposed to take when it comes to your mind ruling you and you not being in charge of your mind. Your mind is telling you what to be afraid of and the universe wants you to rise above this. And I'll talk to you about rise above in just a second. But right here, you're meant to be above your fears and just watch them and see where they come from and don't get involved with them because your fears might be untrue. They might be completely unfounded. But this past situation that you've had to heal from 
has been telling you, you need to be afraid. Your inner child is screaming and you need to have your inner adult calm that inner child. Literally, inner child and inner adult. You need your inner child and your inner adult to work together in order to conquer your fears and come into this energy. Ideally speaking, this is going to be a process for you. I can see that much. Your hopes and your fears. I am see that you are deeply afraid of taking on a whole new era. This is the Fool card and it is in reverse. You are hesitating from jumping off the cliff, so to speak, and into something new that the universe wants to guide you into. This is scary for you. This is maturity gone wrong. You've gone through some difficult situations situations right here. It has matured you. But right now you're struggling with the aftermath. And now that you're looking at the start of a whole new era, the whole new cycle, you're hesitating about jumping forward at all. You tell yourself, I remember what happened last time and I'm not willing to do it. And here is... Your final major arcana card and like I said you've got one two three four five six major arcana cards and then you have four minor arcana cards so this is a major moment for you this is a life lesson that you're not meant to take lightly because there's the real risk that you could avoid answering the call of the universe and becoming your newest best highest self you could do a whole lot of work towards relieving a karmic debt that you may have inherited, not by any fault of your own, but possibly from a past life, possibly from your ancestors' lives, possibly from your current alive family members' lives. There's some kind of karmic debt that needs to be relieved, or at least you, if there is no karmic debt involved, you need to learn to do something in order to reach your best and highest self, one who walks forward fearlessly into new situations and doesn't need to hesitate for too long when the universe asks you to start a new era, to start a new cycle, and do something different and new and good for yourself. You need to respond to the call of the universe. You need to bring balance to your situation by calming your fears and by up-leveling yourself on a spiritual level. You need to do this in order to reach your best and your highest self. On the bottom of the deck, I noticed, we'll pull just one card. You've got happiness. This will lead you to incredible long-term happiness. If you can do it, if you can bring balance to yourself, I know that I have a whole lot of high-vibing audience members, and I think that's cool as hell. That doesn't mean that our journey forward isn't really, really difficult sometimes. A lot of the times it is when society asks us to be one thing, but our hearts, the universe, our ancestors, our guides want us, want us to be something else. That's hard. You can do this. You can be strong. You can up level yourself. You can do this. Can you bring balance to what you are so afraid of? The nine of swords is your central theme. Can you calm your fears and say, this is unfounded. This is unwarranted. This keeps me from being my best, excuse me, my best and my highest self. Can you do that? Because you definitely deserve a new era for yourself. You don't deserve to be stuck sitting, waiting for more healing. At a certain point, you've been healed enough and then it's time for you to take action. Allow the universe to suspend you above your fears. Watch them with some kind of detachment and say, I am not my fears. I am the master of my own mind. I am not a slave to my mind and how it can overthink sometimes. Folks, that is your daily message. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.